Maybe. Yeah. There we go. Which one? Oh, yeah, that would be it. It's prank stream time. Sorry. But it is. <laughs> oh boy, I'm gonna be extra mad at the streets right now. That's fine. <laughs> Because <laughs> you're too busy being sad that Mario is possessed by mm. an anime girl? No, I'm too busy being happy that Mario is possessed by an anime girl. Finally! Okay, well... A character that represents me and my mental anguish! <laughs> yeah. I can't think of any better representative of my depression and anxiety than Mario depressed... <laughs> To possess by a sad anime girl. No, sorry, a vicious anime girl stabbing Luigi. Mm -hmm. Hi, Van. Hi, Nutshell. But then you like couldn't like oh, make it, and it, it, you couldn't make it very fast anymore because someone married you and <laughs> and like float on and like fix you or something mm -hmm. and so now you don't identify with M mario being sad and possessed and yeah and i feel bad because <laughs> because i got married and i'm happy now <laughs> i feel bad that i didn't finish my rpg maker game which means yeah which is which suggests even further yeah i am definitely fine and there are not problems i am an adult <laughs> Um, it's very quiet right now, so you probably can't hear that good. Oh, there it is. Yeah, like, it's just, I need to turn it up for me. Mm. I guess I was, whatever I was just doing is loud. <laughs> A little better. Get another sip of this. Don't even street fight me until I've had my coffee. Hi, Ben. Hey, Nutshell. That mic's right in the way. There we go. Hi, Dragon. On top of monitor. Ooh, hi, Dragon. Hey. Here comes a new challenger. Oh, no. I'm not, I'm not emotionally prepared for the mirror match. No, Gigi's in the other room. Um, I can't use faces because it's loading. All right, smile back. There we go. Oh boy. Well, I know that's not right. I was, I was just thinking to myself, like, every time I do this beer match, and I think I've started to figure it out, I, like, someone will just play totally differently. The other sim, sim, and I'm just like, I don't know. Ben says, well, this is going to be a stretch. Oh, nice. I think this person doesn't know the sim mirror match. It knows it even worse than I do, is what I tried to say. He's trying to anti on me like that, which is like one thing I actually think I know is wrong. 
Sim has a lot of trouble dealing with Sim's teleport, so you kind of just have to play around it. He's maybe the worst character at dealing with his own teleport. Ugh. I thought that would kill him. Okay, well that did. Ugh, long odds on that guy. I just did an anti-air, it's fine. I could have done my meteor! That would have been so cool! That's the thing to keep in mind in the future. Oh. Whoops! Well, that wasn't supposed to be that. I'll get hit by the fireball anyway! It'd be so goofy. I don't really... whatever. Gotcha. You should not parry there. I think. I think parrying there's terrible. Because I'm like 50-50 gonna throw you. And the parry doesn't get you much. That makes sense. That didn't actually hit you there. It's fine. I'll burn myself out for no reason. I don't need meter. You hear me? Now I just blocked for a really long time, I guess. And then do that, and die. Yep. That makes sense, that you would do that when I jump randomly. This doesn't work, I think he can block it. Yep. I should have done level 3, it still wouldn't work though. Good. Oh boy. Yep. <laughs> My hand slapped his fireball. It's a very persistent fireball. We have several of those. Gah. It up. That was a kill, and I just like didn't hit the next button. Ah. There. Okay. You can't answer. I marry your Dalson. We don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just slide into each other repeatedly. Oh, you didn't slide. You jumped. Too close for that. 
Ooh, I almost messed that up. I could feel my hand slipping. But I didn't. I believe in slide. That makes sense. You should do the other one, actually. Oh no! He teleported and I teleported, so I teleported where his thing was. No! That would have worked too if I did a little bit, but I couldn't do it sooner. I guess if he'd done it a bit later. Here. And now I'm eating this combo. I love how much longer this takes than every other matchup. <laughs> then maybe Guile. Oh, I can teleport that and just beat it, can't I? I think I learned that. Yep, I was like, I think he's screwed. He has to teleport or he's gonna land on a fireball. Whew. And now, time to do Ken, Fade a Ken that where every round is 10 seconds. Maybe. I'm downplaying Ken. I'm a Ken down player. I don't think he's the number one uncontested best character. Yeah, but I don't like him, so he <laughs> Shit, I didn't consider the fact that you don't like him personally. That's so true. Hi, Aki. Hi, Aki. It's a fun matchup that I think I lose, but it's a fun matchup. It's you neat to see more of her. Oh, no. Oh, okay. I didn't land on the fireball. I'm still in the corner, though. I can probably just, like, drive reversal that, huh? Oh, you didn't... Oh boy. He's too scary in the corner, I'm not hitting buttons. And yeah, now she's realizing I'm not hitting buttons, she's grabbing me. It makes sense. It makes sense. Oh. Ah, I should've teleported. Oh. Who does that move? That's weird. I like, don't know what that move's good for because no one does it. <laughs> kind of forgot it existed. Oh no, they both hit her DI too, so they're not even there to prevent this combo. Crap. I'm dead, right? You have a level 3. Yeah. That makes sense. I can punish that always, but I don't always know with Yeah, I need to, especially because she's relying on that dive move. If I teleport it, it's just like... I'm really, you know, I'm really glad that they're finally doing realistic representation of acupuncturists. <laughs> Stop just being like, no, it's it's just as good as any other kind of medicine. You're like, okay, no, it is actually just a way to, like, you know, kill somebody during a street fight. Like, you know what? I'd be fine with it. I'd be fine with it. <laughs> yeah, I'd go there then, you know? No, like, you know, it's really refreshing. Aki, Aki's speaking truth to power. That big dive move is a big trump card for Aki in this matchup, but like, if I start teleporting it, it 
And if they introduce a character who's a chiropractor, they can just kill everybody by touch. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't block them all. It's either you touch your back, or it's a weird safe jump set, or you take long-term damage from everybody, every other character telling you, "No, but it worked great for me." <laughs> yeah, even the chiropractor is like you. It's, it's there's two characters who fight who aren't the chiropractor, and then whoever wins is like. Ooh, I'm in pain, and then the chiropractor shows up and wins by, like, touching their neck and being like, Oh, I can help you with that. And then, like... And then, you know, there, then the, that character becomes unselectable forever. <laughs> Where he just goes, Well fought! <laughs> <laughs> ah, shit, that was a combo that I didn't feel like doing, I guess. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> he went for the one with more damage, but it doesn't have the range. I don't usually do that. Oof. Ah, oh, nice grab. I was doing all the parries and everything. No, you're crouching. Uh, I lose, right? Oh, if I just blocked, it wouldn't have mattered. She still would have had pressure. But I wouldn't have died. So there's that. Hmm, there's a few usual members who are not here yet. Should I do a third? A few of our usual suspects. Uh... I think... This power... Goes to... Ven. Because Ven is here. And a regular. So oh, should, and so he should decide the fate of those yes, who have arrived. Yes, Ben. Should I give one, do one more match to let a couple people join? Also, high butt plug. Or shall we behead all who are late? Yeah, didn't think so. Pass. I don't know what that means. You can't. Pa you can't pass on the ability to make this choice. That's not allowed. Yeah, no, uh, when we said, when, like, a prize is also another word for a curse. <laughs> Problem is, is that saying nothing does mean we just sit here forever. Yeah, we just sit here forever then, I guess. Well, Ven, I guess your choice is to sit here and listen to this song. Good, uh, it's a good choice that you made. Mm-hmm. Hey, Gaijin. Well, that's one more person. Doesn't matter. That's true, Ven. It doesn't matter if, like, I get, like, 20 people showing up at this point, Ven. Yeah, no. You've trapped us here until you make the choice. <laughs> it's pretty... It's pretty Jeff the Killer. Shit. <laughs> but Plug says real Jeff the Killer screen. Yeah. Look what you've done, Van. You've done, Van. What you've done. Well, then I'm doing one more because I actually don't want to sit here. So you made a choice, Van. Now you have to live with it. Mm hmm. Just like, sort of. The notion that you've made a choice. Yeah, which to most of the people in our Discord is one of the most terrifying things possible. Yeah, no, that's true. <laughs> but, no, you've got the curse on you forever now, Ven. You made a choice. A bunch of fucking cowards. <laughs> swear to God. <laughs> I haven't fought DJ in a really long time, actually. Oh, hey, Nutshell, huh. you're here. Good. I, I've been meaning to get your attention in some way, and mm. I guess this is the best way for me to do it. Um... So, as far as I can tell, everybody else in your upcoming Pathfinder game is a tiny little, is a tiny little tiny friend who, uh, <laughs> who has no, who cannot take hits. Um, so with that in mind, what are you gonna play? Shit. <laughs> Kobold, Leshy, and a, and a rat folk walk into a bar. Um... 
Uh, and they all say, oh, we're our, our base HP is 6. <laughs> Oh, eh. This guy wants to play it slow, which I think is to my advantage. Oh dear. Or oh no, I got. And that was. I need to stop using that slide like that. It's real bad. I don't know where that habit came from. I do. It's from beating. Damn it, she got away. Oh dear. Okay, never mind. I'm fine. I am so not fine. She sensed I was going to ask her a question. And she, <laughs> just, just, she just vanished. If I know in a nutshell, she does listen to this while doing things like eating. Mm hmm. So she's probably like, oh, well, now I don't have to uh, answer this and I'm going to go to sleep. <laughs> and I will be like, yeah, touche. Well played. Never grab! I was sure that was where the grab was going. I should have just kept walking. It's been a while since I played defensive DJ. They're usually desperate to get in in this matchup and have the tools to do so. No, he doesn't grab after jumping, and I keep jumping. Which is probably why he's not grabbing, because he can just hit me. Oof. There's a grab. Nope. I was a bad teleport. I thought he didn't have his charge, but he did. Oh, I can teleport on that in the double one. It's actually really easy to do. Exactly what I wanted him to do, and then I didn't capitalize. Is this missing too? <laughs> okay, well, I did like do damage, but at least I didn't get hit. Oh, I could have comboed. I really didn't think that was gonna do it. Ah, you jump. That would make sense. Bonk. What? Oh, you were probably trying to yak back all. That should work. It should work! None of my teleport- yeah, yeah. None of my teleports work on that, and I, I hate that. This is the only person who I can't teleport out of other cuts. It's so hard to conceive of that. Even Guiles, I can forward teleport, and it, his timing is different. Oh well. Eh. Let me switch this off. And switch. I didn't need to do that. This on. Connect. This. Possibly take a moment? Nope, not that long. Uh, no, I don't want a new version, actually. Thank you. I don't want to update you at all, because it's a miracle that everything I have makes Deadly Premonition work, period. <laughs> Did you open the thing? Yep. Did you unplug your keyboard? No. No. But I guess I can do that. I feel like now that it's already opening, that's it's dangerous that I'm doing it. But mm -hmm. there, I did it. No. It was already like this. It's it's just like frozen on opening. But there you go.
Now, did we win the 50-50 on if it detects my controller? Yep, we did! God. Chibi chibi bang bang? Yeah, it's one of your car skins. Oh, that's terrible. It sure is. Hey, that's awful. I hate that. It inflicts. It's. Like, it's pain. Yeah. It's the only one of the DLC cars that doesn't get extra stats. It's just... I can select those in case they're spoilers. I don't think there are. I'm really just here to see if there's any suit we want to put in there. We've, we've, we've just had the Spec Ops suit, which it does it does give us some nice variety. There's the High Roller suit. We had... Um, <laughs> we had the Pumpkin suit. Yeah. Which uh, is something Jimmy Franks insisted upon and then left. Yeah, that, that one looks, sounds like very bright. Yeah, sure does. There's the espresso shoot, the field op uh, suit. What? Nothing. Uh, the happy song crayon suit. And then just the default that it's replacing, which is workaholic. So... Yeah? That is an outfit. Yeah, you want me to put that one instead of the um, spec ops? Yes, I do. <laughs> and then the house is just that. You can't switch out the house for a different house. Your sweet home. Previously. In the investigation. During the investigation. So, you want to find out everything there is to know about Diane? <laughs> Wait! <sighs> She's still alive. Stop right there, Nick. Remember, you're under arrest for the attempted murder of Diane Ames. Yes. Emily, hurry! You saved my life. No need to thank me for that. Mm. I'm pretty useless. Sorry. I couldn't save Becky. I couldn't save Diane. Uh, uh yeah, no, we were, um... God, what building are we actually in? I kind of don't remember. Remember what we're doing? Yes, we're going after Thomas. Mm -hmm. And we went to an apartment, but it wasn't there. Mm -hmm. And then we. I don't remember what clue brought us here. But we, yeah, we're in the bar. Uh, we missed after. Right! We went after Anna. Um,. Because the other two, well, I shouldn't say the other two, but the the two deputies, uh, George and Emily, went off somewhere else that the clues pointed. I think maybe the um, town hall. They just burst out because they're they're on a rampage. They're on a rampage. But like, York was like, no. Mm. I think I know what I need to do. Yeah, I'm York's a ghost girl. York was chasing them, and then the Anna's. The, the goddess of the forest appeared and made us do a loop-de-loop -loop a couple times <laughs> and then one stopped in front of the bar. Of the forest. Yes. There's only one dead woman so far that doesn't get to be a goddess of the forest. She has to be out of town. <laughs> it's weird. It's her specifically. Wait, which? Uh, Becky. They just tell the boys. Oh yeah, right. Oh, they did tell. Yeah. Go out of town. Becky's actually just out of town. <laughs> but like, you know, Diane's dead, and uh, Anna's dead. Well, no, sorry. Anna's a goddess of the forest, and so is Diane. And uh, those are the three that are dead now. Or is there another? Um. Anna, Becky, Diane. Yes. Yeah. We could use these switches to change the lighting. The current lighting is blue. We could use these switches to change the lighting. The current lighting is yellow. 
The lighting is all red now and the switches don't seem to work. I think this is the door we came in? Yeah. No. Yes, it is. We haven't done anything in here yet. We just immediately saved. Yeah, so that's right. We just walked in here. Um. You were pushing your way towards, uh... This suit, right? That is what I said to put in. Do you want me to wear it? No. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> this room has been locked by some kind of device. Look more carefully, Zach. Wow, a puzzle. Oh, do that. Yeah, you, you hit the two switches. Anything tell you a thing that you're supposed to do, or is it just like if you hit both the switches once, it'll just unlock? No, it's not. It's still locked. Well, then what was the, why did it give you that sound? Because the booting is the sound of completed puzzle. Do 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 is the sound of a clue. A partially. Oh, God, okay. So that means we partially solved it. What we have to do is hit the switch again. Yeah. So to turn it all red. Puzzle. Wait, did I? I didn't go backwards, did I? I did not. No, it's just. It's just the same. Hallway. Yeah. It's just pretty much the same hallway that we've been in. Before. Yeah. No. This. This is the. This is the. This is the hallway to the Midori Midori Kawa fight. <laughs> pew pew pew. Pew pew pew. Oh, that's not a passage. It's just a nothing. Thanks, Wesley. This Thanks, Wesley. Special. This is very special. Oh boy, it just it stops being on fire so fast. Well, I mean, yeah, you didn't like if, if you, I mean, I know everybody just expects wood to immediately dissipate into like ash because fire touches it. But you actually do have to do something to make it catch better. Oh, if that you was just like go. And it, it will probably just kind of like give out eventually, <laughs> or at least take a really long time to burn. It's that quality that makes it so useful as a heating, as a heating tool, because mm. it takes time to burn. Oh, it's a bunch what of. What I'm saying is, Sway's a genius and knows exactly how fire works. <laughs> That's so true. Nope. Everybody's always talking. They're always saying, "You know what? That Sway. If there's one thing I can say about him, oh, he really gets fire." Someone put a sword here. Oh. Bet you can't. It, it. Let's get rid of this steel pipe. Oh, I guess I could have just taken it out and thrown it. Oh well. Saber! Mm -hmm. And then you use- oh! You do actually put it in your hands. Yeah. So, okay. At first I was like- No, he has a special, like, rent- I, I guess he does! I think th th this and the katana both have the same. Or I should say, sword. Yeah, thank you. What's a katana? No idea. Eat your donuts. <laughs> Eat your jelly donuts. Donuts. Burger. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta push this, clearly. It's a puzzle. 
Oh, uh-oh, I can't stop pushing! Uh, oh, thank you for waiting. She's... Uh, now that you can't stop pushing, I've got you right <laughs> where I want you. <laughs> well, Van, I didn't know you know Japanese. Ben, Ben's full of surprises. Oh, this thing's almost busted. That's fine. I'll just... Regular jack the box that bad. Oh, gee, it broke! Amazing. That was amazing! Whoa, oh! There was someone behind me, apparently. Oh! Oh, I didn't do my call on the ground routine. Maybe I wiggled out fast enough? Maybe it's random. Who can say? No, Rourke said that when you said maybe I wiggled out fast enough, Rourke said yes. <laughs> oh. Wait, so that's four work? I don't know. Hi, Box. Hi, Box. Oh, this is a dead end. So yes, this way. Frank's been lighting you on fire. Mm-hmm. The Wesley special. Oh, that wasn't like a bunch of shadowy goo. Oh, no! I see you. <laughs> oh, better stop. Oh, good. One of these. <laughs> oh, he was here. Puzzle solved! Oh! <laughs> so, the, this one is just, you have to run. Mm -hmm. He's not really chasing me because he's really just doing this. Yeah, he just, like, if you watch, if you don't run fast that enough. That one there did work. <laughs> yeah. Like, that one there did work. You could see that he mm -hmm. had run, to, he had just gone to the other side. But, like, in a lot of these, it's just like, I'm here now. If you wait long enough, you will see him go and, like, find a a box to chop in half. Oh. Um, is he stuck? Oh, okay. <laughs> Wait, where- where is he? Wait for him. Where did he go? Evade! Fine, you can just do that. <laughs> just do that. Oh, I need to push it all the way to, uh, to the end, of course. Oh, it hit the fingers! He tried to track my movements and threw it in the wall. I wonder if I hadn't evaded if it still hit me somehow. Oh, he's walking into something again, I can see. No, no. <laughs> oh, dang it. Oh. I'm behind him right here. Dog, oh, you already- Oh, jeez. I'm behind. Uh. Oh, and we're running towards him! <laughs> You can see it! Oh, gonna make fun of me saying I'm behind you? Well, here! Wrong. Oh, it broke. And did it hurt me? Or ow? Yeah, because it got on. I think it. Oh. No, I think we just recoiled, but I did I don't know. Uh, wait. Where? Oh, I can break these, can't I? Oh, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Use your wrench. Ah! <laughs> he wasn't even going for me, really. Amazing. Amazing. Oh, there's one little gap. No, of course no. not. No. You know, you could try get. You could try not just wandering into fire and give Weather Doll a break. <laughs> Oh, oh, it, oh, you're here now. Uh, amazing. Yeah, I'm 
amazing. Thank you. Hi, Sabat. You missed chasing, mostly. And a really hard puzzle. Oh, we're here. This isn't how they taught me to use ice picks. No siree. No siree. <laughs> Did the FBI train you? Yes. Hmm? Of course they did. This is- oh, this is now they taught me to use ice picks. No siree. Hmm. Oh, we got both pieces of evidence, because this one only has two. Even though it's a pretty long dungeon. Also wasn't entirely... We didn't watch any of it. I don't think. Oh no, we got the really fuzzy one. Yeah, you have to. Mostly ice pick focused, but all right. I mean, that's why we couldn't see anything because it was actually the ice picks flashback. <laughs> the ice pick is a kind of an important character, and is a convention of like genre media. Hmm, that's true. I- I made it. Shroom. Oh my god! <laughs> Wait! He went backwards! Oh, you got up on the- Ah! Oh, dang it. Oh, if only I knew how to step up things! But, it's a problem for me. Because, I mean, the raincoat really makes it hard, actually. <laughs> I did it. Now I'm here. Oof. <laughs> Bam. What? This is what we saw on the flashback, by yeah, the way. Is... Obviously. Yeah. Stick, Stick into. into... <laughs> Great prompt. That's one bizarre setup. Whoever made this must be crazy. Really think you have room to be judging the store, or <laughs> you did immediately figure it out by seeing an ice pick stabbed into a different, unrelated thing. And then you started wandering around the door like you couldn't get through it. Yeah. Also, good point, Box. Didn't you didn't even try the doorknob first? This thing keeps falling. Stay. It's just Here. like I will. Uh, this is the only way I can get to the door. Okay, so it's not bonus footage. It's still part of the. Is exactly who I thought it was. First things first. We'd better let poor Nick go. Oink. Hey there. Yeah. But first, a song. Like a girl, 
So this is one of the other things that people tend to know about this game, if they only know a few things about it. There might be a reason for that box that is really stupid, but I'll get into it when we're not watching a cutscene. Oh, like right now. So yeah, this is a little problematic. It's not as bad as some people like to make it out to be, because they conflate it with a thing that happens in the second game that I don't think is bad at all. But yeah, Thomas is, although no one uses the word, trans um it's yeah <laughs> um obviously we're gonna learn a little more about that but uh not handled the best but uh also sweary then went on to make like four games featuring positive uh, interpretations of trans people including one game that's supposed to be entirely about the trans experience and uh is by and large is yeah um really fucking it's uh really fucking impressive um which is the missing by the way to be clear mm -hmm. uh yeah um my understanding is that my understanding is that in in particular and this makes sense from everything i've ever noticed of sweary uh, in particular, in response to this, we had a lot of fans talk to him. Mm hmm Yeah. And he talked back with them. Yep. And they had a lot of really important, constructive talks that led him to, because, I mean, we have a very specific... Uh, like, we have a very specific uh, understanding of narrative convention, especially when it comes to trans narrative convention, mm -hmm. that uh, I think is hard to convey to people who aren't. Yes. Um, this... And, and here's the th like uh, there's uh, things I think I feel like are important to keep in mind. This game was being developed for how many years? That's a good question. A lot. <laughs> like at, like eight or yeah. so, right? I think technically, like it, it's or its earliest ideas, yeah, from so, its very and, earliest. And like yeah. this is a pretty this is a pretty central part of the narrative as far mm -hmm. as the as it went. Um, so this was conceived and written in the early 2000s by a, a, by a, a Japanese man who was doing research. I think it's important for people to remember that just because some things have become... Uh, just because some things have become in, uh, uh, such obvious stereotypes... Uh, doesn't mean that people didn't experience things like this. This was not inherently, like, this was not, like, it's not portrayed very well. It's not sensitive. It is definitely uh, something that mm -hmm. now, if anybody were to do, it would be, like, bad. I think in particular the way that Thomas is 
r repeatedly implied to sort of wish he was his sister is not great. <laughs> not really, no. Um... But also, he's, she is in a small town. Yeah. A rural small town that is, is more so than other places by design closed off from the world. Mm -hmm. um, uh, even now, people seem to really underestimate the difference between what it's like in a, like a city and what it's like in a small rural town. Um, I went to college, uh, older, uh, older than most, and we, uh, I, uh, I had a lot of, they, I had people that did come from rural towns, I met people, for, like, uh, LGBT people who came from rural towns, and, uh, I would often hear a narrative of, well, in my town, everybody was super supportive of me, so that's actually not real. Like, the, the idea that that things are harder in rural neighborhoods, rural uh, cities for uh, LGBT people. Uh, those people would often talk over other people who were like, I was so happy to get out of my rural town, I thought I was going to die there. Mm. Um, like, it's very different. Um, things that we consider simple and obvious are not, are just, are, are like, still culturally not they're just not there yeah um and so i think that this is not as bad as it comes off to us now mm -hmm. or honestly even as bad as it would have come off to a person back then it is unfortunate that uh it's unfortunate. It is not, and it's obviously it obviously comes from a place that's more uh, that's more uh, uh, understanding fiction than it is understanding reality. But uh, I, I I don't know. I uh, I I only knew. Obviously, we went into this. Frank did tell me. Yeah. Because it would not have been... I didn't want to sit on that discomfort for three months or whatever. Uh, and, and, you know, I and mean, I, it would be yeah. fair. It would be... It was fair. Like, I, he did the right thing and mm -hmm. told me. Um, but he didn't tell me a lot. Mm -hmm. He just said, Thomas is trans. I hemmed and hawed for like way. a minute, and then I was like, Thomas is trans in a really specific way. No one uses that word. But I don't But she is, and like that's what it is, and it's not great. <laughs> and uh so I've been able to like so I've been able to go through all of this sort sort of observing and watching things like that. And I get it, is the thing. Mm. Get what he was going for. I do think that he, what he's trying to go for is real. There are plenty of, uh, there are plenty of uh, trans women who have nobody else in, around them at all who do all kinds of things to express themselves. Mm -hmm. Where they, in, and uh, it happens. It is, uh, Unfortunate that he chose to also go with a um, a convention of uh, particularly of um, psychological horror that lines up with m more akin with like you know your uh, people people who end up having like mental issues yeah uh, <laughs> in 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 horror or or suspense or drama um. That's unfortunate. Yeah. Really not, really should not have done that. Um, whether that is something that, that, whether that is something that can be explained by a cultural difference, by ignorance, or just by, just by kind of telling a story you weren't ready to tell my, my man, uh, mm -hmm. it's hard to say. But, um, I think 
after watching this game and seeing everything that it did, I don't... I don't actually... I don't... I don't think it's the worst. I, will, I don't think it's the best. I don't think it's good. But, like, my stance is... You tried. Mm. You, maybe you shouldn't have yet. Um... What to say? No, I was going to discuss some things that hadn't happened yet in vague terms, but I'm not going to. We'll just experience stuff. Yeah, no. Some will be uncomfortable, and some of it weirdly positive? Um, one thing in particular I'm thinking of, but, uh... Also, just for context, when this game came out, no one talked about this. Because it was, what, 20, 2009? Mm hmm So, yeah. And also, people didn't really respect the game that much as a serious thing, just as a joke thing. And it was only over time as people played it and were like, oh, there's actually something here underneath all the weirdness and with the weirdness, not really underneath it. Um, but I feel like mostly this scene, and the, well, this concept, it started to get heat around the time Deadly Premonition 2 came out. And people were like, oh, now it's like 2016 or 17. And so he's doing a Kickstarter and like, you know, we should... Look, talk about and you, know, you got talked about more, and probably some people went in and played this game and found out. But probably blindsided by this to some extent. Um, but what really got heat is it, there's a thing in Deadly Premonition Two, and I guess this is spoilers. I don't know the context for this. I just know what happens, which is there's apparently a trans character in that who York knows, like pre-transition, and then also like from like investigation and files and stuff, like historically knew so-and-so did this and then like knows them post-transition throughout the game and then at some point like a clue is revealed essentially like one of the hints that like helps him unravel something is like oh they're trans and they transitioned um and then york says oh so like so-and-so is dead name and he uses their dead name because he's saying like oh so you know they were them like <laughs> um and people got really really mad at that because york dead named someone which i think is really remarkably ungenerous that's, especially that's <laughs> frankly that yeah that's disingenuous yeah like, entirely that and apparently insane. five minutes that's later not, yeah <laughs> that's not what dead naming is no it's much like how the internet like doesn't understand what anything else is mm -hmm. and just ascribes things to loose association like the by the most specific definition of something sure saying like oh of course the person in the the person in the historical record this name mm -hmm. is actually this person that yeah. name like, that's not what that is. Yeah. What, de what dead naming is, is the deliberate dropping of, the deliberate dropping of somebody else's, like, no, no longer used name, spe like, in, in spe specifically in context <laughs> so that it would hurt them. And, like, appa and apparently, like, five minutes later in the game, someone is disrespectful to the trans person, and York turns to them and goes on a rant about basically trans rights or human rights, although I'm sure he says it in York words. Yeah, and so it's probably so it's probably also like really weird, disorienting, yeah. and I'm sure even the per like even the person that he's talking is like, uh, okay, whoa, okay, uh, I can just I can just imagine. Mm -hmm. Um, but like, <sighs> and another thing is that Deadly Premonition Two apparently is not very good and barely runs, so very few people have actually played it. So a lot of people are taking other people's words for it. Yeah, too. And, uh, and then that all gets conflated with this, which is problematic and bad. Probably not as bad as people think it is. But it all becomes part of a larger narrative uh, mm -hmm. of that, that gets constructed that then equals out to, wow, Swery's, Swery hates trans people. Yeah. Which is weird because simultaneously, he's the same people, <laughs> like, the same groups of people will also be like, damn, the missing's really fucking, is mm -hmm. really fucking harrowingly accurate. Like, that's actually, it's like... A, Wild. It's like it's wild. <laughs> yeah. Um. Very. It's a very visceral game. I have I need to play that. with it. Mm. I was thinking once I was finished with this, I'd play the Good Life since you have been. But maybe once I finish with not on stream, just on my. No, own. no. 
That I don't think I think that game is would be harder to stream than this one is my understanding. But it's life? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm still gonna play it on my own anyway. Um, but maybe when I'm done with that, I'll, I'll do the missing too and slot it into that slot. Um, that is, I, I definitely don't think you should stream. <laughs> yeah. No, it doesn't sound like I should. Um, I actually need to go to the bathroom, so I'll be right back after. I'm uh. I expected we'd probably stop and pause here, because it's a thing to talk about. Yeah. Oh, hi, Ben. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm fine. I'm doing all right. I, uh, I have, um, <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right, Dr. Bokuk, sorry. Yeah, no, no problem, uh, uh, no problem, uh, Box, I, I hate the internet. <laughs> I'm not sure if you've ever gotten this impression from me, but I just, I really hate what, 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 what our discourse has become. I hate that, I hate that, like, because everything is just sort of a, a telephone word of mouth thing, like, you have things like that, like this, that are, that, get branded as the most horrendous hateful thing in the world and then like also it's like oh the the the, the child the child oh the, the the child in guilty gear who was a uh, who was an awful like showed a like rep uh, it was like an awful sh like showed a stand-in who was uh, like forced to live as a girl is also is now their trans character but it's like fine because like she like she has a yo-yo and she like wears super cute outfits and stuff like that's like that's great that's good everyone likes that because uh it fits into their fucking bullshit aesthetic like nobody actually understands the things that they're talking about and nobody ever actually wants to sit down and like and like they they won't want to critically interpret things they want to criticize for points Whoa. and it's really annoying ah <sighs> yeah yeah no Res yes um it, and it's just like you, i heard it from one person who i mean I mean, and I normally trust them, so they're right. But they also probably heard it from some person that they probably normally trust, and you're you're just kind of getting, you're just getting somebody's, like, more often than not, you're getting somebody's hot take that's just them being bitter about some some piece of media they don't like, mm -hmm. like, or like some stupid argument that's probably that probably has nothing to do with anything, and and it just gets telephoned to becoming, like, this is something we all need to talk about right now. And we don't. We mm -hmm. don't. Because actually what we're doing is, what we're, what we're probably do, doing most of the time is some, some, like, child who's arguing with another child about some bullshit got into a fight and then, like, started having some idea that was vaguely palatable <laughs> to other people. God damn it, Cajun. <laughs> That's right, Shell. Steven Universe is problematic and you are bad for liking it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Just like... I'm... I'm really glad... I'm really glad Twitter's dead. Yeah. I really wish it's other all things would now. die, mm -hmm. uh, but it, because I really think a big part of the problem is the uh, the way that we communicate is so, um, is just so, uh, it's, it's, uh, communication is something that we're inundated by, not something that we are, uh, that we are participating in. <laughs> it is uh, constantly barraging us with 
all kinds of ideas and, and treat and and as such our brains are treating all of those ideas with equal merit and and it's just bad it's bad it's bad that we have like it's bad that we're letting some like like 35 like some 35 year old who is like still hanging out with children and but and also arguing with an actual child like have st the same level of impact as like say hey here's my real experience this is what my life was it was pretty rough like th th our brain by default just looks at those two pieces of information as equal mm -hmm. like so, so like you know, uh, there's a lot of equivocating and a lot of uh, a lot of a uh, 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 reduction that that just that just becomes how we consider all topics, and it's really f it's really fucking uh, like it's really fucking disturbing the way I get I I I I see we see some. <coughs> Like some people talk now, like luckily that this still luckily it's still the kind of thing that doesn't work very well offline. Mm -hmm. Like it's still not a kind of communication that you can translate well to actually talking to a person. So it it ha it hasn't like destroyed us as a people or whatever, <laughs> but it has just really fucked up mm -hmm. how we think about like wide conversation. And I hate it. I hate it. It's all fandom's fault. Mm. Thank you. <laughs> Speaking of fandom, Deadly Premonition! Uh. No. No, we don't need that. We just did this. We just did it. Oh, yeah, right. Now we're... Oh? Dad? Oh, right. Dad? What's back? Come on, oh. boy. Oh, just or it'll be too late. Oh, I can go into the... Over the shoulder. Oh, I do have a sprint. There we go. Do I have anything else? Nope. I can just aim and, uh, quote, sprint. Oh, it doesn't up my pulse. No. Children don't have a pulse. That's true. Wait, did... Oh, to make sure we don't go backwards, just... Yeah, to make sure that you don't do the you thing mm -hmm. and just start being like, well, what if I just went back anyway? <laughs> Dad? Dad? Come on, oh. boy, or it'll be too late. Yeah, they're like dogs that way. <laughs> what if I tried to clip through this tree, Frank says, immediately immediately missing the meaningful thing that happened just the other looking mm -hmm. the other way. I may have told this story before to people who Come aren't shell. Or it'll be too late. The pot is going to get cold, boy. <laughs> um I played Fear, which is a game that alternates between being a cool first person shooter. And a spooky horror game where uh, Sadako from The Ring jumps out at you. Um, I played it on my friend's computer. It was one of his favorite games. And he had to watch me play it. And uh, my natural tendency to just be like, Oh, what? Wait, corner? What? Oh, wait, what's behind me right now? Meant that I looked away ever all, like more than half the time the ghost girl spawned. She's designed to spawn where most people would Come naturally on, look. Boy, and I would be always late. be looking away. <laughs> Every time. And it made him so mad, because all I'd hear is just, like, a scare chord. And then i look around and, like, maybe see some dust falling from where she had just been. And be like, oh, guess I missed it. <laughs> it made him so mad. You see, most most of game design suggests that it make us think that we should go right. But what if I look left first? Mm -hmm. And make that my natural inclination. God forbid I clear corners yeah. so I don't get ambushed. Oh, come on, boy! Brian boy, Sander Morgan card. Huh. I wonder if 
You just missed? No, you could replay the chapter. Oh, never mind. I was like, is that just missable? But no, you can. You yeah. should probably check to see if there's any other card you can only get in some My chapters. dad's trading card could beat your dad's trading card up. <laughs> My dad doesn't have a trading card. Yeah! That's weird. It's weird yours does. No, it's, it's cool that mine does. Yours sucks. No one wants to make a trading card of him. Oh. Daddy? 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 Daddy. Daddy. Buster Wolf. That's jokes for maid. Huh? Now, see, to me, I think what stands out to me is oh. this. Mm. <laughs> More so. Hi, Willie. <laughs> yeah, no, what people don't talk about as much, but the game is also very weird about women. And, like... In a way that, like, some of the characters would be weird about women. But also in a way but that also, it's like, I'm... Oh. Hi, everybody. No, did you know? Have you heard? Have you heard? Oh. You are waiting here for someone, <laughs> I case and bobblehead. I guess. <laughs> Their faces. I guess they would have. I guess they would have that. They do like to hang out with this dog. <gasps> Blorp. Oh, man, Diane wants to fuck that thing. I can tell right now. <laughs> yeah. It's a tree, there's blood, she's just, she's just like, hot damn, I'm so glad I died and ended up here! Grandpa, wake up! Oh, right, oh, right. here we are, this, this is the framing device! Grandpa, hey! I'm not, I'm not paying attention, this isn't canon. Yeah, this isn't canon to fucking... Anything. Sorry, my dear, I must to see fall all. asleep. That no one likes. That's enough. Oh, you're back, Nutshell! Whatever! God! I tried to call you out earlier, and it's gone! That was our promise, wasn't it? Before I continue on, though, I've got a little gift I want to give you. Wow. It's pretty. Consider it a protective charm. It will give you plus like two a defense. signpost. It will help Grandpa, to lead why don't you talking rhyme anymore? Life. A signpost? I'm just, I, well, I'm, day, I base it up on nothing. I, 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 I'm <laughs> you not. You find out that, but one I of the truths of this world. That the world is filled like with contradictions. This is <laughs> <laughs> when that day comes, how will you respond? What do you do? That will be the instant that determines the value of your life. Like, this is the, this is the only version that cuts to this, right? Uh, all the director's cuts do, but yes. Oh. Okay, but this is the director's Yeah, only yeah. the director's cuts. And there's multiple director's cuts that are technically different, because they had to re-release it. Grow up into a woman who can make the right choice. Mostly different bugs. And you, do you understand, Emily? You understand? Don't marry Keith. <laughs> We come toward the climax. As the angels said, I was soon fated to meet him. What do you think of those dreams, Zack? <laughs> so I do care for Emily. What about you? We should take this opportunity and talk about this a bit. Do we have to? Yeah. This genuinely. If I hadn't seen your come into the bar, well, you wouldn't have found this place, would you? 
Now how about that? I guess I've always been lucky when luck was needed. That's why I've been able to stay in business, too. Although we have Willie to thank for finding this room, I suppose. He's got a great nose. Clever, too. He'd be a great businessman if he wanted to be. I owed you guys one anyway. And I owed York big time, too. You guys didn't tell anyone about that whole thing with <laughs> Diane. You're so I fucking bored help right now. <laughs> anything I can do. Kason, I appreciate the offer. But this is a police matter. You can leave everything to us from here. Oh, well, okay. George, look. These cigarettes. They're the same brand that York smokes. He's definitely been here. Carol's been missing since the bar closed last night. This town will be deserted if this keeps up. We've only got 26 people. What do you think is really happening here in Greenvale? Emily. Let's focus on looking for York. I just hope there are more leads than a cigarette butt around here. Uh, actually, it was a whole cigarette. Like, did you <laughs> not see what I picked up? Talk, 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 talk. Sniff. Okay. Hey, Willie, of course! You can track his scent, can't you, boy? What do you think, officers? Let him help you out, why don't you? Oh, he'd make a fine police dog. I told you we don't need... Sounds good, Kaysen. We need all the help we can get. Come on, George. Let's let them help us. But they are civilians. Do you have a better a plan? Dog? <laughs> As we speak, York might be... Right. Let's have them help. Thank you, George. But one thing. With York missing in action, I'm back in charge. And York would give me hell if something bad happened to you guys. So promise me you'll call for backup at the first sign of danger. Yes, of course. I think we're missing really? something here. So I'm going to look around a bit longer. You go with Kaysen and follow York's trail. Thank you, George. Look, whatever. <laughs> We're counting on you, boy. To do my job. Welcome to the force, Deputy Willie. Dog putty. I was just—I uh, was gonna say—is it just bright daylight outside? That kind of ruins. Well, let's get rolling then. Okay. Oh, he's got a dog patch on his I'm back pocket. You, That's Willie. adorable. I never noticed that. Oh, not counting on me, though, are you? Sheesh. 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 Oh. We're, we're Emily. Oh. We. <laughs> oh. We have a handgun. Oh. Oh wait, for a second we had the saber, but now we don't. Huh? And we and we get this. This is Emily's theme. This is either Emily's theme or Willie's theme. Go for her car. <laughs> That's true. It is. Also, Emily can run forever. Yeah, women don't have a pulse. That's so true. It's like children. <laughs> Deadly ammunition! Nice. <laughs> I wonder if we have an inventory. Hold on. We have maxed out... Okay, we have a couple health kits. That makes sense. That's it, though. Well... Semi-automatic 9 mm pistol used by the police in Greenvale can hold 18 plus 1 bullets. Well, Zobit, York smokes. Yeah. That's true, actually. Emily doesn't. Mm -hmm. One of the things that's smoking a... Oh, I startled Casey for taking out my gun. I was trying to see if I could hold my breath. I can't believe can't. that Emily lost $52. Oh no, he's still startled, so we have to wait for him to be unstartled. We get her fucking around. Um, there we go. I Wait, why did I... Because you keep pointing it at them. I didn't do that one. You did. I... 
Okay. Put your gun away! You, you have to wait for them to put it away. Can't. Well, then stop hey, pulling it out! Deputy Willie, he's over here! Come what? On, no, I was chasing him! What are you talking about? What? <laughs> what? I was closer to than you were! What? Um, I mean... That, that's a good point about the box. Uh, Emily's cooking has that weird... That weird trait that... that That, like, makes you sleepy. <laughs> yeah. It fills your stuff a bunch, but then you get sleepy. Or a moderate amount, maybe. It might not be a bunch. Visible Street. Visible Street. And Ripper Street. Rip roaring good time here on Ripper Street. Have you thought of checking this out? Check this out. Check this! <laughs> He can be a little selfish, but he's a good dog. He stayed with me all this time, through all the good and the bad. How long have you been together? Oh, we go back a long time. I can't even remember a time when he wasn't around. I had a dog when I was small, too. He was a beagle, so we named him Bee. <laughs> Stupid name, I know. He hated being left alone and always followed me around. I could tell him anything, even things I couldn't tell my parents. He'd look into my eyes and listen so intently to anything I had so to say. Shrugging. Yeah, it's, it's the. Just, I don't know. Like he sympathized, and he didn't make fun of me. He would just listen. When yeah. I was done talking, he'd put a paw on my thigh. My Aww. worries just faded away when he did that. Made me feel like I was just a fool for worrying so much. <laughs> Dogs are great that way. Oh, yeah. Sometimes I think they got a lot more wisdom than us humans. Even if they are betrayed, well, they don't see it that way. Sure sounds foolish, but you know dogs, why they're always happy. I'm positive that even if man perishes off the face <laughs> of the earth, dogs, why they'll just carry on regardless. That's they ridiculous. Dogs would be really sad when about that. Mm -hmm. They're the only ones. They see. Yeah, they're, like, they're like the only animals that would be like, <laughs> oh look, Deputy Willie's calling for us. He's always like that. Let's get back to the chase. It's always like that, barking. Back to the song. <laughs> Oop. Bonk. Oh, he's got like a... Oh no, I just ran into one of the invisible walls on the side of the road. That... I think is a tree that doesn't render in this version or something. Stop it! Thank you! I've been thinking it the whole time! In fact, I think, <laughs> I think, I think every time this song is played, mm. I've started going, uh... Oh. In love, is oh. Him. <laughs> uh... Thomas, I know that you're there. Your disposition is not of my concern. But you do need to stop this. Untie me. Let me go. Right now. And you and Carol should take off. Go as far away as you can. Open a bar or a diner in a new town. With your cooking, I know you do well. Why, thank you, York. You're so kind. Unlike him. If I had someone like you, things may not have come to this. York, have you ever been in love with someone? Thomas... A long time ago, I witnessed two people that I really cared about die. Both pretty much at the same time. And since then, I've tried not to care about anyone so deeply. But recently, that way of thinking has changed. Emily, right? She's a nice girl. But I must warn you, York. You'd be better off not falling in love with her. Thomas, considering the circumstances, Whatever I say might not be important to you, but I'll say it anyways. Don't you dare touch Emily. 
York, I think I've said too much. It's natural to respond when someone talks to you, I guess. Everything will end tonight. You just stay there until then. The door open and close animation that everybody uses. Where they're like, what's over here? Oh no. You know? This? Really? Orc's name has just been up there the whole time. Oh. Yeah, oh, in the health bar? Yeah, yeah. It, it says York there. Yeah, and it's like, you know... You Ent entirely so that when you play as Emily, it says Emily. Oh. Oh, you s they stop for you to save and then it's the fight show up. And Emily's just like, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Maybe she can't see them? I don't know. What's wrong? Something's bothering you. Oh no, it's just... I promised to have tea with, with Polly. I just remember. What's that got to do with anything? Yep, you're right. This just isn't the time, I know. But it's... Well, she reminds me of my mother who passed away. Kaysen. Oh. I've been a salesman for a long, long time. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I really. My mother, you know, sales. It didn't was a thing for me. George no matter right. what happened, oh, this God. was more important. <laughs> so even when she was sick, I put more energy into my work, which I regret now. And you know, when I heard she died, I was, I was on my way home, all happy. Dog. I Dog, I'm just big wandering around. Jersey. Just when you want to give something back, you got no one to give it back to. Well, that, that's when I met her, Polly. I thought heaven had given me another chance. I really did. So I always stay in that hotel. <laughs> heaven sent me a mom. <laughs> the rooms are great, but, but in all honesty, I go there because I want to talk with Polly. Does Polly know all this? No, no way. I'd never say anything so embarrassing. <laughs> Sometimes I call her mommy, She'd but I don't I think she hears me. Crazy mother complex. <laughs> cut, cut away to Polly. I hear him. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's get going. Deputy Willie hey, disapproved. Look, you might be wondering why I. I'll make it up. Why sometimes some I hear you and sometimes I don't. <laughs> I just learned to better to pretend that I don't hear young men sometimes. <laughs> better that way. Was he just holding his back? I feel like he was like, "Oof, my back," which is an animation I've never seen. I mean, it's an it's an animation I would expect him to have. Yeah. He's kind of. Ridiculous. <laughs> He's very ridiculous. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Zach, I'm hungry, but I can't do much about that at the moment. Thomas is certainly <laughs> okay. A good it's a shame to keep his cooking hidden out here in the countryside, don't you think so, Zach? Ugh. Which reminds me, there's another. What was that noise? Cook in town. To fall in love with her would oh, mean okay. that I would need to love her cooking, too. Why does God test us so, I wonder? That coffee she made. Man, did that pack a punch. I wish you could have tasted it, Zach. Uh, oh. Oh, there was a ghostly Emily I was imagining in the room, I guess. But I didn't see her, so... Don't do this. Come on, man. Cool. <laughs> uh, huh? Yeah? It's only a hunch now, but I don't think Nick cares. <laughs> Thanks, Kaysen! <laughs> Thanks, Kaysen! Thanks, Kaysen! Thanks, Kaysen! Thanks, Kaysen! Thanks, Kaysen
Jason? What? What do you mean? Me and Diane, we were, you know, pretty close. I'm sure some people might have moral issues about it all, but why do you keep saying that? that? Well, <laughs> every time we we finished talking, she'd bring up art. I'd She's make a not face, married. you know, boring. <laughs> And she'd always say, you're so different from Nick. He's well, people so in this town do explicitly judge her for like sleeping something out. she'd say. Nick was one of the few I mean, people yes, but like, <laughs> talk to, you know. And vice versa for Nick, I suppose. Like, Diane also told me that she was yeah. This is like the third Nick. time he said he that. Mm -hmm. I know you might Maine judge me for sleeping around with Diane. Like, one would try to kill the other. Okay, Jason. <laughs> but even the best of friends can end up in the worst fight. I'm judging you because Still, we're in the middle of a murder investigation and you're talking. They were something else, much more violent, more more horrifying. Uh -huh. Diane's voice sounded different too. Different, hard to explain. Of course, I, I couldn't make out what she was saying. You told York all this? Of course I did. What did he say? I, I know that's fine. Something like that. Ow. Hey, uh, are you guys done, Bark? Let's go then and catch Diane's killer. Yeah. Yeah, Emily, what the fuck? Come on. <laughs> I, yeah, he did it. He's, he just, like, squats. Yeah, he, he, well, he's, 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 he's rearing up. He's getting ready to go. <laughs> it's not an animation anywhere else. Whatever. In case and put that down. No, he literally, I don't think, ever has. Hmm. Is that correct? I th yes. Yeah. That is correct. Maybe sometimes when he's walking around in the world, he might put it down. Or put it- he puts it I away, actually, probably. I, I think that it's only when he's, like, getting into the car. Yeah. Specifically to do certain animations, he'll unequip it. Because it's just equipped to his hand like an item, because that's just how NPCs are. Is there a- oh no, it's like, is there another phone here, or...? No, we're just doing this. Zach, about Emily. Don't you feel almost... Nostalgic looking at her. Oh, lighting. I think I've ever felt that way looking at a woman before. No, I'm wrong. It's a long time ago now, though. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, no, that's not. Uh... I was very surprised when she came to my hotel room. Not the end of this game gets weird, and not all in good ways. It was. I knew that it was though. this plot line. Mm -hmm. It's like it's you know, they getting weird one way or another. Investigation, <laughs> right, Zach? Yes. It is. Like, I knew the moment Emily's face showed up on screen and the music just swelled. Mm. I was like, oh, okay. Mash market. Mash market. I hate these mash market paperbacks. They just fall apart <laughs> once you mash them. Yeah, no, this, uh, alternating scene bit lasts, uh, forever. <laughs> I don't hate it, like... Yeah. Wait. Hey, where are you going? Deputy Willie, he's over here! Come on, <laughs> you idiot! What the fuck are you <laughs> doing?! I'm right next to him! Yeah, but you're not next to Kaysen! That's true, I'm not. I think you are actually supposed to stay in your case. I think so, yeah. Which is wild, cause... <laughs> Man, I love... I love running to this part of town? Yeah, we have done... It's really, I didn't know to keep track of my routes since we keep switching back and forth, but... I do think we basically did like a figure eight, but like twice, kind of. Hey, a, where are you going? An eight with three Deputy loops? Willie, he's over here. Uh, fuck you! Oh, hey, this the... Isn't this the way to, um... Is it the... Is it the lumber yard? Technically, if we go to the right, we will eventually get to the lumber yard. Oh, okay. That is not where we're going, because if they made us walk to the lumber yard... No, that I'm not would... saying that we were yeah. going to no, walk no, no, there. No. I just meant, like, this direction. Mm -hmm. Are you close to the Ingrams? Yeah, these train tracks no, go there. I mean, or maybe well, it's the I always way say I hi tell. when I see them at their store. But then I'm like, Don't oh, you think I they make a wonderful bye. family. I guess so. 
Including Jim, I suppose. Yeah, if we count Jim, I guess it maybe balances out. The ideal family, I'd say. You know the one that idiot, I after a Isaac lady who does everything, often, right? an old man who they hates talk everyone, a lot when I and then two really weird Yesterday, children. Yesterday, Mama and Papa, and this morning, Grandpa, always about their family. Just listening to them makes me feel so happy. I don't have any brothers, you know. Maybe I'm a little jealous of those two. That's Maybe. why when I come Jason, here, why do they I always like you? pay them a visit. Why do they Green like Veil you? is really to watch their children so often. I can tell. <laughs> uh, because I have yeah, a dog. Billy's calling again. This Enough is, about and, me. And, Let's get going. And, and you know what? I will bet you, fucking Keith was like, he's got a dog. <laughs> I mean, he's reason, got a dog. Darkness. Why wouldn't? Why would a guy with a dog not be good with kids? When I first met her on the bridge, she looked so. Dignified. Oh my god, your please. Her eyes, use every word I say. Her blonde what? hair lit by the dawn. Look, yeah, it was really creepy. I remember. Give me directions in the car. The horror on her face in the gallery. And that car. No, you mentioned that already. Those are the. Wait, yeah, the, 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 the horror when thing she's in the gallery. You mean when she the, almost the died? Zach. Let's pray that she doesn't. When she was her. almost impaled by the same horny tree <laughs> as Diane. <sighs> Look, we need to make the player aware that he is attracted to Emily somehow. This is the only way. That's like the worst moment you could use for this. Yeah. yeah. Deadly premonition. That's like the worst moment you could use for this. Oh man, I see. Here's the thing, just to go back into my, and everybody, like, the way that people, the, the way the discourse works makes people stupid. People don't talk about this! They do a bit, but not nearly as much, no. People do sometimes say Swery has problems with women, and then they never, I've never seen someone clarify at all, it's because it's mostly perceived information. <laughs> Even though it's true! Well, oh, why did I suddenly speed up? It's... Okay. My life's been really good. But people hate it. I genuinely think Swery improves so much because he actually listened to people when they criticized this game. talking to Willie. Me. Yeah. York is nearby? He to me. Yeah. Good job, Willie. What the fuck, Can Emily? Now, York please? is nearby! <laughs> um... So yeah, we've been heading to the community center slash old theater slash clock tower. Yeah. Did we mention on stream? Did we mention on stream that uh, it, 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 people complain about the main character, the good life? I don't know. I know. Maybe we. I don't, think, I don't care. We're gonna yeah. say it right now before we start a cutscene. Um. I can pause real quick, actually, because I think we're literally about to. <laughs> I would assume. <laughs> um. Well, yeah, we probably did. Um, I probably did. I wouldn't shut up about it, I'm sure. <laughs> um, actually need to pee, so... No, though, uh... No, uh, a lot of people... A lot, apparently a lot of people had very negative things to say about The Good Life, and I think it's actually... I think... <laughs> I think... Like, one... one th Like, the one thing that was correct is performance issues. Like, every swear he came to her, the most impossible to explain performance issues in random ways. Um, but a lot of people said that they didn't like Naomi because she's... She's, like, she doesn't... Like, she... She's not likable enough. She's a... She's an asshole. She is. But it's like... York is an asshole, you know? <laughs> York's really shitty to people. He blows he blows cigarette smoke in their faces for God's sake. <laughs> like that's a that's a dick move. But people don't complain about York's personality. They complain about Naomi's. Mm -hmm. <sighs> yeah, people don't like it when women are assholes. I love it. I started playing. And I was like. Oh, this rock! She sucks! <laughs> this is great! <laughs> More games need lady leads who are wrecks. 
Mm-hmm. In general, I like when games are willing hey, to let so ass characters be assholes who aren't evil. You weren't playing yeah. with us, were you? And it's so George, rare that it's a woman. It's, it's rare in general, but it's even rarer. Oh. George? For a sec, I thought that was my voice somehow, like, halfway echoing back. I was like... Oh. Jason, I'm going in alone. Hey, hey, you didn't forget what George said. No, I haven't. And that's why you get to stay out here and keep trying to contact him. I'm just going to I don't have a radio, but vehicle. okay. Trust me. Really? Do you think okay, you could, like, you say so. I'll take care of this here. Sing a dog song that he'll hear from mm -hmm. this distance? He probably could. Well, he's powerful. Huh? Oh. Wait, am I playing or not? Oh, okay. It's a cutscene with a weird angle. Yeah, well, you have to wait for the, <gasps> the door. <gasps> Freeze! Whoa, this cutscene. Stop right there! Yeah, there are different what the hell? gameplay and I or rather indoor and outdoor models, I think. Yeah, no, like her model right now is just pretty good actually. Yeah, no, indoor models are way more detailed. <laughs> it's York? Subtle. Emily but... is here. Time to say goodbye then. Thomas. Let me tell you one more time. It's not too late. I can help you. Just untie me and let me go. If you don't, the situation will be irreversible. Unfixable. York, no situation is reversible. Didn't you know that? Everyone, everything proceeds along a path preordained by fate. Goodbye then. I wonder who'll be the next person to open this door. Well, whoever that person is will be the one to decide your fate. Zack, what was I supposed to say? All I can do now is wait. Sword. So we have uh, Emily. Yeah, no, we get a we get a we get a weird Emily dungeon. Yeah. That's fine. That's actually an astounding amount of zombies. Yeah. If I think no. about it. That was a lot all just to be there. Are you Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hold on. That's like are you I I could just shoot you and force you to fall over, but I kinda wanna know. <laughs> no idea what you're talking about, nutshell. Oh, I can get a shot. Okay. Guess those will go to York later, maybe? <laughs> I have no idea. Mm, better confiscate, confiscate these. <laughs> oh, it's probably just that they have the same random drop tables. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. And I can pick them up, even though York has full, because I'm Emily, so... Yeah. They're just yeah. in my inventory. Oh, okay. Come out of that. Or I bet they are, but only now that I'm past it. Fuck it. Actually, no, let's do it the hard way. Ugh. Oh dear. Oh, in the mouth. We haven't seen that one yet. 
Wow. <laughs> yeah. No, that what that's what happens if the upside on people catch you sometimes. So now I'm I'm really glad I didn't explode. I got to see that. <laughs> Fox has a good point. Emily should get the weather the, the weather doll if you don't finish your side quest. <laughs> Uh, excuse me. Oh, I can't. One second. I just sort of. On yet. Oh, sorry. I can. Uh... Being real careful to not. Yeah. So I can't. I don't know a way to blow. Up. You're supposed to blow up the barrels, obviously. But I don't think there's a way to do it that doesn't result in Emily also getting blown up for admittedly not very much damage. Band-aid damage. So, I, I guess it's sort of like, oh, can you fight them all? Or should you just take the easy way and shoot it? Oh, she's a different animation? For she always... Oh. This animation's the same, of course. Yeah, well, obviously. Wow, I guess she's a different... Huh. A Does she use that anywhere else? Maybe she does? I don't know where she would use that. Wait, oh, infinite. Oh, uh, sure, I guess. And then I guess I'll use one just in case. And I guess you could also sleep if you, uh, needed to. Yeah, I don't think her hunger and tiredness go down, which. That's... Who is she calling? Uh, hi, FBI? I've seen you call this number. Um, it really seems like you guys like check-ins or something, and I'm sure <laughs> York is not doing that right now. So, <laughs> yeah, Ven, they use it. On, she only has two doors she can go through. Uh, I hear sounds of machinery coming through the door. Wait, wait, can I examine these? Do you have different examine things? Uh, Lots of first aid kits in here. Will anyone mind if I borrow some? Is it connected? I could rest here. She does have different- mm -hmm. she, she did earlier with the door, too. I need to find York. That's- that's very sweary. That, like, yeah, no, we may not play her for long, but she would say different things on exam. She has different observations to make. Come yeah. on. <laughs> Walk tower. Eh. It's a good animation, too. Mm-hmm. Oh, a rendered one, right. You sure took your time. <laughs> Thomas, you've got nowhere to run now. Just surrender yourself. Emily, I've been waiting for you. Where's York? Is he okay? <laughs> He's quite the handsome one, isn't he? I liked him the moment I saw him. He likes someone else, of course. Who do you think that is? Hmm? I'm asking you if he is okay. Answer me. Oh, yes. He is handsome. Me and Carol, we love not him, but a different person. My lovely G. Cut the crap. Do you know what you're doing? Why, yes, I do. All too well. Far better than you do, I think. You know nothing about me as a kid, nor this town. <laughs> Please don't make me shoot you. <laughs> You're a silly, sad little woman. We're heading for devastation. All of us. And no one can stop it. <laughs> Oh, Thomas, you're sick, but there's still time. We can get you help. I'll help you. You're too kind, Emily. 
as kind as a goddess. That's why he likes you. This town is soiled, and only you are shining in it. That's right, Thomas. Let's just leave here together. It was so much better back then. We had so much fun. Emily, that was before you came. I won't let you have him. You filthy pig! pig, pig. Boss fight, yep. Oh, this is oh, good. ow. Dodge this. Uh, I don't know how. You oh, there's an evade. Oh boy, yeah, this one's actually kind of hard. And there's a lot of QTEs. Dang. Yeah, it. I. I really like the stage, though. <laughs> yeah, no, the thing is, is that... This is actually kind of It's cool. actually really kind of cool. <laughs> Over here, Emily. You vicious swine. Oh, yeah. And then... Uh, where... Oh. Where... Did I just dodge it naturally? I guess I did. There we go. Thought of it. Oh boy, over there it's really hard. Just because you can't really see a reticule. Oh boy. You won't have it your way. I won't let you take him. I'll show you how serious I am. I'll turn you into hamburger meat. Like, if you set aside all the bad things about this, it's actually rad as hell? Which is something I could just say about Deadly Premonition. You yeah, no. Die, oh shit, that's... Uh, it's really good! Yeah, no, it it's great! Wait, what happens if I fail? I want to know. Looking pathetic, Emily. Oh, I Walk. think... <laughs> I guess I just took damage. Of, oh shit. This is good! This is good! Yeah, no, I think if you just hover in the same spot, it'll just come back for ya. What? Where? Oh, <laughs> no gun out, so I'm just like, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh dear. Yep. Oh, they get harder the more you fail, too. I remember that now. Oh, boy. It's, it's like a fantastic set piece. I mean, I... I mean, I would love it. I, I would love it if this were my boss. My, yeah. my boss. My boss arena. Like, <laughs> No, oh, you just go up there, huh? And there's just sort of there's this insane level of detail to it that is nowhere else in the in the, like the combat of this game. Yeah. Oh boy. Eh. Eh. Oh, one more. Yeah. No, the music's really good too. Yeah. Thomas, don't make me shoot again. Surrender and turn yourself in. <laughs> Emily. Emily, I'm... <laughs> Thomas. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. 
That's enough, Thomas. It was a boss fight. It doesn't count. Just come over here. Anything you do in a boss fight is legally excusable. Oh, yeah, Especially when it's rather snow. Yeah. I hate you so much. Die, you skanky swine. Did you think it? What? Get away. Get away from me. Get off. Oh. Hi, Willie again. Gosh. Oh, Yeah. Just like Diane. <laughs> yep. It's not the first time we've had a horrible impaling on the screen. No, it is not. Oh, <laughs> is that Thomas hanging there? Payson? <laughs> oh my god. He looks like a strung up turkey. No, the dog was deputized. Gunshot. I hope nothing terrible has happened. Yeah, it's true. Emily did deputize him, Fox. Oh. Oh, you were the next one to enter the room. I guess you decide my fate. Dog. <laughs> hey, Willie. <laughs> Are you here with your owner? Oh, yeah, I'll just take the blindfold off. Willie's very... Willie's quite a dog. Willie's been proven to be very resourceful. Yeah, I told you, Willie's powerful. <laughs> He's very powerful. Like all dogs can be. Mm. No, no. <laughs> no, he has a door opening yes. animation! I guess it's actually the same as his... Uh, Get up on anything animation, really. Another really good, uh... Another what? Yeah. <laughs> I can definitely get some sleep here, Zach. Yeah, I sure can, York! Fucking weirdo. <laughs> There was just a phone in there. Hey! Look. Hey! York! Are you okay? I'm fine. Got to spend some quality time with Zack. I heard gunshots. Did you get our man? York. Thomas is dead. Yep. I shot him. <laughs> yep. He tried to kill me. Thomas. I suppose that this is the fate you talked about. Oh, there he is again! Emily, what about Whatever. The Sorry, just case him. <laughs> I just told you I had to shoot Thomas. Thomas's actions may have surprised you, I understand that. But our job is to catch the killer, isn't it? You didn't let the killer get away. York, are you such an saying asshole. that Thomas was not responsible for the murders? I think he's not supposed to be an asshole there, but what? he is. That makes no sense. Emily, are you out of your mind? Thomas was certainly neck deep in this. 
but he didn't kill the girls. He has concrete alibis for all three murders. He also Ew. doesn't have the reverse peace <laughs> symbol on his back. These are basic facts that for sure you haven't forgotten. Then who? You can't talk to her like you I didn't. need you to be strong, Emily. <laughs> you had an old if rich Thomas man tell you the these killer, things. Then there is only one other possibility. The only one with free access to the department files and doesn't have an alibi at the time of the killings. Love G himself. George? George is the killer? And since when did you start thinking this? I wasn't sure to start with, but you saw the pictures, right? In that secret room in Carol's bar, that was when I became 100% positive. But George didn't have the tattoo on his back. Ah, oh, right. He doesn't have a tattoo on his back. But there is a pattern there. What do you mean? Emily, I'm not saying that the pattern was the tattoo. Remember what Harry said. There isn't a single thing that can maintain its shape for eternity. And George's back is a perfect example. Hey, you two. Could you explain this so I can understand what's going on? No! No! <laughs> Come in. Your dog step your time, not you. I've rescued a <laughs> from the clock York. tower. Just, eh. Thomas is dead. I was forced to shoot him. <laughs> York. This is good. And you two are both all right? Uh, York is a little weak, but we're heading back to the department now. Okay. I'll do the same. Emily, George is a friend of yours, isn't he? Yes. Then what we are about no to do shit. is going to be tough to deal with. Are you willing to go through with this? York, I'm Deputy Sheriff. This might be a small town, but I take pride in that. It's my duty to make sure that we catch all the bad guys in Greenvale. Even if it means facing an end that I would Box. never have hoped for. Okay. <laughs> then let's get moving. This case is going to end at the sheriff's department. I don't know what's going on, but I'd like to. Do you want to buy a sapling? Oh boy, I don't think we have a moderator because we not here. Willie, come on, let's go with them. Checking out now would be like leaving after eating the appetizers. Wait, are you doing? <laughs> It's an awkward place to stop, but I do believe we have to. It's not a bad place to stop. I, I think the next section will be too long. Um, so I think I will stop there for Deadly Premonition. But that gives us time to read some Stephen Maine. And also maybe just... God, like, that's a really good boss fight. Actually. <laughs> it's really kind of fantastic. Yeah, everything about it is really... Good. Well, not everything, but like, you know. Good. Mm, do I let the first scene play? I'll let the first scene play out. What the heck? Even though we'll replay it next time. That way, I guess if you show up late next time. Whatever. I love that it's also just back to this, like, music and chill atmosphere. Except also, I guess we're storming the place. Emily, I'm going in from the front. You secure the back. Okay. Mm, or should I? What should I do? Case and stay at the entrance. <laughs> Oh, don't cut me out now. If this was a movie, I'd be some minor nameless character. And I thought I was the cheerful sidekick that helped solve the case. Jason, what the fuck? Jason, you idiot. Hmm, I think I might just stop here. Yeah, no, I was going to say, are you sure? I thought it would let me play, like, immediately. Um, so yeah, whatever. So, we're heading towards... We're not as close as you'd think to the end of the game, but we're pretty close. Um, yeah. I think especially because there's barely any other boss fights in this game. Um, like I guess technically the zombie ladies who crawl on the wall the first time. But like the thing, that, the thing is that the thing is that this the thing is that the every other combat portion of this game leaves you with this impression of. Man, 
there's nothing happening here. Yeah. <laughs> and then it's like, and then there's like a fully designed boss fight. Yep. <laughs> yep. Oh, Buttplug's gotta go to sleep. Good night, Buttplug. Let me see, is this gonna stream? Yep. <sighs> like... Mm -hmm. Ah, oh, there's like five things I want to say that I can't. Shit. It's just like... <laughs> and that clock tower's just been there? It's been like the only big building that doesn't have a purpose. Other than the handful of farms that never do anything except you can sleep at one of them for no reason. They're just there. They're named. I don't know why. But <laughs> otherwise, it's like... It's there for the meeting and then you like the town hall area and then you never go back. But it's been there. People have talked about it. Ah. Oh. Deadly premonition. But and speaking of immediately following up with the goofy, ridiculous music. <laughs> Street Fighter 6, the Monster Mash. This, this blog should have the goofy, ridiculous music. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no, don't. Okay. <laughs> Why not? Okay. Lucky Street Fighter fans were able to enjoy the Street Fighter 6 beta for a few days, and there's a lot of information that's been divulged. We know that the character creator allows you to create avatars that are horrible abominations against mankind. And the bulb. <laughs> and the bulb, who is good. We know that there are minigames, like the addictive bull run, that you can play against others. More importantly, though, we have information about new characters that allow us to look into the story of Street Fighter 6, and there's a lot to look at. We can start first with the non-playable character Eternity, an obvious homage to the fifth element's Ruby Rod. Ruby Road? I don't Ruby remember. Ruby Road. Ruby Road. We get to know a bit about the host of Channel Eternity through their introduction in the Battle Hub. Eternity is a flamboyant character who enjoys fighting and watching others play Street Fighter. <laughs> Me too! He's a good character, also. <laughs> They're also something of a fourth wall-breaking character, not only welcoming you to the battle hub, but also appearing as a spectator in the Macho Ring stage, along with Street Fighter 1 character, Retsu. You know what, that also? Now that I think of it... Black gay man doesn't die. Yeah? A movie that just, where, like, he is, he doesn't die. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and... Just gradually gets more screen time, kind Not of. Not in the nineties. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Doesn't die and doesn't get particularly defamed. Uh, no. Yeah. Honestly, this just mildly important and just ends up fine. Yeah. <laughs> and adventure's like, well, I'm here. I guess I'll help. Duh. Eternity is something of an enigma at this stage. Outwardly, they're very friendly and love being the center of attention while showing off the features of the game. But inwardly, they're G! The most obvious thing about Eternity is their fashion sense, both masculine and feminine at the same time, and making heavy use of pink and blue. This is a character who is somewhere on the LGBTQ plus spectrum. Well, you don't want to <laughs> And the pink and blue motif seems to imply that Eternity is either non-binary or bisexual. The bisexual flag utilizes the same blue and pink shades as Eternity's outfit. Okay, everybody, I just want you to remind... Re I want you to remember right now... Uh, hey, you, you better have listened to it, but... No matter what this is going to say, this is already... Uh, this is already better than everything yeah. he said in the Satsui no Hado thing. Mm -hmm. However, there's something else that's been gnawing at me that has to do with Eternity's outfit. Eternity wears a prominent crystal pattern, making it their official symbol. I found this interesting for one reason. While not the exact same shape as Eternity's, there are crystals found in certain characters' designs that lead me to believe that Eternity belongs to a certain group. <gasps> Gasp! Oh. Yeah. The guy that you never bothered to explain to 
to us in the thing because you just were like, I don't want to. Yeah. <laughs> Gil is the head of the Illuminati, who he's mentioned a lot. He's like their god. This is Gil's brother, who is a businessman. <laughs> also like a minor god, but mostly sure. a businessman. Um, and uh, this is Nash, who is uh, um, Guile's dead best friend and mentor, who was revived in Street Fighter V and I think is under control of someone and I don't remember who. Gee. I think it's the Illuminati, actually, G. which is probably why he has the thing. It's G. It's Gil and uh, Urian. This is Urian. That's his name. The idea that Eternity belongs to the Illuminati would not be off the mark. You don't get to say that, but okay. Crystal motif aside, considering that Eternity came out of nowhere to be a front and center... Oh, hi, Gigi. Speaking of coming out of nowhere. Huh? Oh, she's jumping. Oh, she's on my lap. Hi. Hold on. You're purring a little bit. Get to the mic. Oh, sniff. Yeah. Aw. Hi, Gigi. Um, considering that Eternity came out of nowhere to be a front and center influencer who is one of the most prominent faces in Street Fighter VI, it's likely they were helped along by an outside force. This could be Gil. Or it could just be that they're a new character. No! <laughs> <laughs> or they, or they, uh, uh, question, since yeah. this was obviously written before the game came out, are Eternity's pronouns they them? No, but I don't think we knew what Eternity's pronouns no, were. No, I, 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 uh, yeah, no. Yeah. I, 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 another reason why I, I mm -hmm. wanted to, uh, to call everybody's attention to the fact that the Satsui no Hado thing was abhorrent. Yeah, real bad. He's, he's, he's being weird, but he's, he's doing... He's doing the right things, at the very least. But he's not doing it for the right reason. He's no. using they, them because we don't know for sure, and so we have to be more accurate. I mean, he did posit that the, the eternity could be non-binary. That's true. But only because that could be true in the lore. <laughs> Look, nerds mm -hmm. suck. <laughs> if we can... If sometimes... If sometimes their nerdness eventually makes them go, eh, but technically, actually, it's, it's, it would be improper to not use say them because it's very possible they could be non-binary because of this checklist. So, I believe in the final game, Eternity uses he, him? I think that's right, too. I be but also, it's hard to know for sure because of the nature of the way... No, 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 no bitey cord. Huh? Oh, I'm here now. I want to- No, you're biting- Now you're biting that cord! Wait, huh? I Go. don't understand. What's happening? Ah. Uh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Nutshell says, hi, GG. <laughs> huh? Uh, okay. Um, the nature of World Tour, which is mostly where you talk to Eternity, is such that, um, nobody uses pronouns because they just talk to you directly. <laughs> And uh, you yeah, don't talk I mean, back, so. in most of eternity's, uh, most of eternity's like, like spoken dialogue is into a camera. Yes, and then otherwise it's uh, talking to eternity, and you don't say things. Yeah. <laughs> so there's never a si circumstance. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a phenomenon that people tend to forget about. Actually, you don't use somebody's pronouns mm -hmm. to them very often. Yeah. And nobody talks about other characters very much in Street Fighter VI. So really, the only really, the only important, most important thing about about, uh, a pro about pronoun usage is when you're talking about somebody either to somebody else or while they're not there. Mm-hmm. In other words, any time anybody has ever tried to has ever tried to tell you, oh, it's just easier for me to talk to them like this, they are literally they are literally violating the only reason that <laughs> the only reason that you should like that that pronouns deeply matter, and therefore they're full of shit, and you should not forgive them. Mm -hmm. Um, gosh, it's it's honestly, I think it's whatever. It does matter. Um. Or, as some people have pointed out to me, they could have been guided by G, who has a strong influence and following on the internet. 
<laughs> uh, oh, uh, some people have pointed out to you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he says, looking in the mirror. <laughs> However, to be fair, there isn't a whole lot here to say for sure that Eternity is a follower of G or Gil, but with the evidence we do have, I'm leaning towards the idea that Eternity is a part of the Illuminati. What, the evidence that Crystal? Okay. One other thing that stands out to me. Gil's concept of the Gate of Harmony. What strikes me is that Harmony and Eternity go hand in hand for Uh, Gil. Do they? As he wants to bring an everlasting utopia to the world, just as the Illuminati's forebears want, forebears wanted. In other words, an eternity of harmony. Oh boy, um, that's not a, uh, that's nothing. That's not a thing. No. Speaking of not a thing, of course, while we continue to guess at Eternity's allegiances, there is one other character we can speculate on who is in the same boat. Oh, We're- only one. Yes. Marissa is just as mysterious as Eternity for the time being, considering you know next to nothing about her. We know she's a muscle-bound woman who could potentially be a grappler that's as large as Zangief, making her the first playable female character in Street Fighter history to be that huge. However, she could also be considerably smaller than we think and retain the Street Fighter tradition of very small female characters who could beat much larger men without breaking a sweat. What? I guess because... She might be smaller than we think. Do, is he saying, for all we... But, you know, we should keep in mind, they could be forced perspective being yes, Marissa. because I don't think she had technically been shown directly next to somebody. So maybe she's actually a short queen. <laughs> is I think what he's saying. <laughs> yeah, she could also just be very, very close. She could be six inches tall. <laughs> While her physique is still a mystery, like Eternity, there are hints that Marissa could be a villain. What? This was revealed recently in an audio leak featuring the voice of a prominent esports commentator. Out of respect for the commentator, I will not be posting a link to the audio files here. However, I will inform you that the audio revealed the moves for the characters that have not been revealed, including Marissa, and what was there was staggering. Marissa's look is, overall, inspired by Roman gladiators. God, every time I remember, I realize her hair is like that. I love it so mm-hmm, much. Mm-hmm. And she takes off her helmet and her wind pose, and the hair is just directly... Mm-hmm. It's real good. What a good character, honestly. As it turns out, her moves are inspired by Roman mythology and culture. Goddess of the Hunt, Tartarus, Javelin of Marissa, etc. The th- mm. Can't do that. <laughs> yeah. The thing is, we already know one character has a similar theme. Urien. G-O. No. This this is actually... The Illuminati is some of the only people he doesn't think might be controlled by G. (laughs) Spartan Bomb. Jupiter Thunder, a.k.a. Temporal Thunder. Chariot Tackle. And Aegis Reflector are all taken from Roman culture as well. Those are Urien's moves. The word Aegis is a loan word from Greek that the Romans adopted, and considering they shared many of the same gods and myths, albeit under different names, Aegis also counts as Roman. I thought it was the robot from that one. That too, yeah. That they just found in the rolling thunder. Yeah, I thought it was that. I thought it was the incomplete. Uh, Maybe? I don't know. It doesn't (laughs) sound right. No, I think I got it wrong. Cool fighting, a cool fighting game with cool robots that I didn't even know about until long after it was defunct. Mm-hmm. Um, so... Because apparently nobody did. <laughs> yeah, not a lot of people knew about it anyway. Oops. So there is a common theme between Marissa and Urien that implies that Marissa is Illuminati, because they both like Rome. Mm-hmm. I mean, that is a, that is a pretty good tell in real life if somebody's Illuminati. <laughs> so true. There is one other thing that could solidify this, however. In the one? Only one. And maybe others. Mm. In the first Street Fighter VI trailer, we see a panorama of Metro City, including a sign that repeats, word for word, Gil's speech from young Street Fighter III ending. The sign in front of his? Mm, It's Marissa. Their signs are next to each other. In a trailer. Mm -hmm. This area of the game has a billion signs all over the place. Yeah, and their placement is intentional. In that, you know, 
somebody did go in and make sure that things were put in places. Mm Mm-hmm. This could be a subtle clue by the developers that Marisa is part of the Illuminati, working for Gil or Urien as a devoted yeah, follower. Yeah, I suppose it could be, in the same way that it could also be them suggesting that Marissa's in the foreground and she is actually six inches tall. <laughs> Speaking of followers, mm-hmm. Lily was revealed in the audio leak to be a follower of T-Hawk and a member of his tribe, the Thunderfoot. While it was interesting to hear that she borrowed her moves from him, lore-wise... Her leak didn't disclose very much, so it's nearly impossible to deduce anything about Lily's story. Oh, uh, well, now. okay. I'm glad you are pointing out things that you could have g- dug into mm-hmm. but didn't, because you have standards. Yes. Yeah. Apparently. JP's leak, on the other hand, revealed a lot. Ooh. It's revealed that JP, quote, has a gift for deception and manipulating from the sa- shadows. More so, several of his moves are named after Eastern European deities, including Str- Str- Strabog. Chernabog and Torbalan. Stribog, Strybog is primarily known as a god of wealth. Chernabog is associated with both bad luck and the Christian devil. And Torbalan is a boogeyman who kidnaps children and takes them away in a sack. Chernabog's cool. That's all. I didn't have a, <laughs> I don't have anything to add to that. Links to pages on Wikipedia for those characters. Damn. Well then. Box points out, if you go to the city where there are lots of billboards and all of that, you can figure out that Coca-Cola and Activision Blizzard are part of the same evil conglomerate because they have signs right next to each other. I mean, the thing is that, well, I mean, the thing is that you could absolutely actually do that and you'd have a one in five chance of being right. (laughs) But uh, that's because, you know... (laughs) It also appears that he has the ability to set traps for his opponents, prohibit them from using moves, and send them to another dimension with his powers. The Shadow Realm. In other words, JP is just as scary as G at this point, and he may only be a sub-boss. And I'm... Don't worry. We'll lose interest in him very quickly. Yeah, when it's revealed he's just Shadowloo guy. So what can we assume about JP with the information we have now? Everything? Yes. Okay, yeah. JP, like G, works from the shadows and specializes in deception. (gasps) He has connections with dark forces that assist him when he needs it. (gasps) They provided him with the wealth befitting of a nobleman, and he (gasps) used it to become a terrifying despot who could be seen as the devil himself. (gasps) There's also the matter of naming one of his attacks after a figure who kidnaps people. (gasps) From all this, it appears that JP made a deal with the devil for the power and wealth he has now. And oh, it's... like Hakan! Yeah, just like Hakan, and is subservient to demonic forces. If we believe that G is the devil and can grant Faustian wishes. Oh, that's right, that's a thing that I yelled! Yeah. If we believe that, we can conclude that JP is working for G. You know, maybe I still do. I don't know. <laughs> as part of an agreement. And what does JP give to G in return? His soul? His subservience? Perhaps. But if his Torbalan move is any indication, it's more than just his soul he provides to G. He kidnaps people and gives them to G to transform into Qs, dead or alive! He doesn't do that. (laughs) No. Um, I think that he does. Look, he showed really he showed great restraint not uh not assuming things about lily from such a short amount of time mm-hmm. so i feel like he's probably very rigorous when it comes to that <laughs> which he does assert so true essentially jp appears to be a body harvester for g his ability to move people into another dimension tells us that g may have the power to travel to this other dimension as well collecting the unfortunate victims who wind up there and jp continues to do this because he is rewarded handsomely for it in other words, JP is driven purely by greed. There is all this is based on the fact that one of his moves is named after a mythological creature that kidnaps people. And which, you know, it'd be really easy to determine that somebody's driven by greed uh in lots of ways that don't have anything to do with deep lore. Yeah. <laughs> there is one final thing to consider. JP's full name appears to be Johan Popovich, and even this is full of meaning. 
Johan is the German equivalent of the name John, both derived from the Hebrew name Johannin, which can be translated as God is gracious. This connects JP... Yeah. This connects JP to his worshipping of dark gods who grant him his wealth and power. As for his surname, Popovich is a derivative of the name Popovich, which in Eastern European languages is taken to mean son of a priest. I don't see why how you could come to... I don't understand how you could come to the conclusion that Eastern Europe and... <laughs> With his formal wear and manner of speaking, doesn't G look and sound like a preacher? Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Well. The answer's no! <laughs> Not really! I, I, I don't know. See, that's, Not what, really. that's the classic Stephen Main, <sighs> like, last minute switcheroo goof em up. It's like, hey, gotcha! Gotcha. But, like, uh, but, you know, consider the other thing. Also, I guess we're wearing a blindfold in this image, huh? Just lines, that's my joke. Anyways, thanks for coming, everybody. Next time, we storm the police station. Why not? And maybe do a couple side quests first with some time travel. Or maybe not. We'll find out. It's up for me to decide. You don't get to pick that. You don't get to pick that! You don't get to pick that! <laughs>